So we're six months into 2021 and it's been a hell of a strange year. Nothing on 2020, but it's been quirky and weird in its own way. Now, many of us, including myself, would have set New Year's goals or New Year's resolutions. And now that we're six months into the year, now's a good time to reflect on those and figure out what's working well and what's not working well. And so in this video, I'm gonna be giving you three very simple tips for how you can celebrate your successes in the first half of the year and how you can plan ahead for a super successful rest of 2021. I'm Kieran Panchow and on this channel I help you navigate the crazy decade that is your 20s. So if you're trying to figure out life just like me, consider joining me on this journey by subscribing down below. Let's jump into step one and step one is all about celebrating your successes no matter how big or how small. Now I encourage you to do this in two ways. One, to do it with a pen and paper, that, that kind of deliberate feeling, a very visceral feeling of writing down with pen and paper will really help you just think about, but more importantly, make you feel really happy about the things that went well for you in the first six months of the year. The second thing I would suggest is to not do this activity thinking about your goals. What I want you guys to do and what other way I approached it was to think about just anything that went well, regardless of whether it aligned to my goals or not, because we'll worry about that a little later on. Now, I don't care how big or small it is, for me, doing my bed every day was one of the things that I was super happy about. Starting blogging, paying a bit more attention to this YouTube channel, those are things that I really celebrated and were big successes in my life in the first part of the year. And so the first step is all about just writing down your successes and getting them down on pen and paper and just looking at them and being really happy with yourself. Step two is very much about evaluation of those long lists of successes that I know you guys have against the goals that you set yourself at the beginning of the year. And some of the questions you wanna be asking yourself when doing this exercise is things like, I haven't really made progress towards that goal. Is that something I still wanna really focus my time and effort on? And things like, actually, I had a load of successes in starting YouTube videos, for example. It wasn't a goal I had, but something I really enjoyed doing, and therefore it might form a goal for you for the rest of the year. And the purpose of this is very much to just evaluate whether the goals you set yourself at the beginning of the year are still appropriate and applicable for you at this point in the year. Now, life changes, right? And so your goals and objectives should also change. And that's what I encourage you to do in this step. The one thing I would say in my word of caution in this one is that when you're setting new objectives for yourself, it's something that we hear many times, but something that everyone forgets, including myself sometimes, and that is to set smart objectives. So to give you guys an example, in my case, one of my goals and objectives for this year is to hit 1,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. Now, the way this is, and the reason this is a smart objective is, well, it's specific, because it's 1,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, it's measurable because we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. It's achievable, hopefully. If you guys hit that subscribe button down below, we'll hit it. Is it realistic? I hope so because I'm gonna be posting consistently and weekly on this channel. And is it time related? Yes, because I wanna hit it by the end of the year. So this is a really good example of how you can create an objective and make it smart. Step three is all about smashing 2021. We've now got a list of objectives that we're gonna be looking to hit for the rest of this year. And so the next important thing is to figure out, well, how the hell are you actually gonna achieve it? Now let's take the example from what I was talking about earlier about hitting 1000 subscribers. Well, for me, I broke that down into a number of different things. So for me, that meant posting consistently. So that means seeing this video, for example. That means learning a bit more about how to systemize how I create YouTube videos. So for me, that manifested in taking the part-time YouTuber Academy run by Ali Abdal, for example. And there I went about just essentially breaking down that objective and goal, which sometimes, and definitely to me, seemed daunting when I wrote it down, because I was on something like 100 subscribers when I wrote that uh, objective down. But so breaking it down into manageable chunks, putting little milestones for yourself in your calendar, things like that really help break down what may seem like a huge goal or objective into more manageable chunks. Now, the point of this is not to stop you dreaming because it's very easy to just set yourself very modest goals and objectives. That's not the purpose of this. The purpose is to make sure you set those ambitious goals that align to what it is you want to do, but making sure that actually you can see a path forward. It's very easy to get disillusioned by a goal or objective that seems so far-fetched that ultimately you end up doing nothing about it. 
Whereas breaking a goal and objective down into smaller chunks could really help you make things a much more manageable and much more realistic, which that for me, I found at least, really gives me the motivation to pursue that goal and objective and actually set those smaller milestones as my goals in the interim rather than that larger one. And then the final thing I do, which I encourage every single one of you to do, is something that I've adopted this year and I definitely will be doing in years coming forward, and that is to put my goals as my iPhone wallpaper. Now, don't get me wrong, sometimes I just swipe past it because I'm procrastinating and wanna see some dances on TikTok or be entertained and laugh at TikTok or whatever, but every now and then I look at it and it's just a good reminder of what my what I want my objectives to be. And it just kind of clicks my mind into gear and reminds me, hey, Kieran, look, these are the things that you said are important to you. You made these rules up for yourself. Nobody else, nobody has given these to you. So switch your mind into gear and then it just puts you in the right frame of mind to do something productive towards that. Now, if you guys follow all of these steps, I have done this. If you want me to share what the outcome of my results and my evaluation is, let me know in the comments down below. But I promise you guys, if you follow this, you're gonna be setting yourself up to absolutely smash the end of 2021. And as we coronavirus and lockdown ends or we go into 2022, you guys will have a fantastic system, but also hella motivation to make sure you guys are smashing all of your goals. But that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'd love to hear what some of your goals and objectives for the year are. And as you guys know now, one of my objectives is to hit 1,000 subscribers. So I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. But thank you all for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.